to achieve everything that we wished for. In a way, if this is our destination, 6th of 6 of 2022, and we are still on Earth, toddling about what we're going to do. All we need to do is to create the gravitational magnetic field within a smaller system. <clears throat> within your course, with the single reactors you have, or double reactors you have. And this planet continuously sends us waves of fields, both directions, magnetical and gravitational. And depending on which one we can tune into, we can fly and position ourselves anywhere within this band, and even on it, and if we extend the knowledge in it. The beauty of the new science and technology is that when, <clears throat> for example, the moon sends its fields, we convert it back in our system, and we get back on the back track of the gravitation. In a way, once we discover any of the two magnetic gravitational fields, instead of this field going and somewhere interacting with the liquids of the planet, rising them and falling them on sequences, we become that what We become that point of destination where we respond back and we come back. That's the trick of traveling with a gravitational magnetic field. It is literally <clears throat> like a monkey jumping from two strings from one to another. But this time, this monkey knows how to divert it. The process of transportation, transmutation in the coming time, then it goes on what the strength of this field you want to use? Do you want to be or do you have the dimension of it? Then this point becomes absolutely irrelevant. It can be anywhere in the universe. Then, at the same time, you can decide on which strength of this field you want to catch on to. That in that strength, in what strength you will return back to. If this is the speed of light on Earth, this could be the speed of light in another galaxy. This is your speed of light, let's say one, and this is strength in the inner sanctums, it could be ten. You want to go faster, you go deeper in the plasma strength of the fields of the point of destination. You can go 10 to the power of 6. Depends on what is strength to the center of the, what we call, magnetic fields, you want to travel in. Are you going in, or are you going out? Are you planning to sink in, inside? Or are you trying to position further? For example, this number one is at this point. The number two is at this point. This one is somewhere here. 
then you see, you still can choose a greater magnetic field and travel thousands of times, millions of times, just the speed of light on this planet. This is to you, you're going away from it. This is to you, coming into it, you decide. You're going anti-clockwise, you go. You're going clockwise, you go different way. Depends on the position of the direction and the motion of the place. With this method of transportation, you have one advantage. You can travel to the places that there are no gravitational magnetic fields, but you can create it yourself. You're traveling at the speed of light of one. And you want to go to a point of imaginary destination here. I don't want to see you at your home. I don't want you to come to my home. We meet in the cafe, somewhere we are both happy. The cafe, the rendezvous place, is there is no planet. There is no gravitational field area. You zoom in with a magnetic gravitation of 10, sending a faster speed on, you create a zone of fields, of gravitational magnetic fields, and then you travel in with L1. Then you set the speed and the dimension and the direction. You create your service station in the world, anywhere in the universe. Because you have created the field yourself, you don't need to catch it, you're already in it. This goes back to when we thought about multi-core reactors. Multi-core reactors were not designed only for defense technology to create different barriers. The purpose of multi-core reactors is, you fly with one here, but with 10 here, you create the fields. So, you become the point of destination pressurized by magnetic field and by gravitational field. This is the way man will travel in the time to come. There is no limitation, there is no restriction in where you want to be. Even on Earth, you can tune in to go into the depths of the planet without even drilling a hole. You create the gravitational magnetic field strength of the Earth at that point. Would you like to live within a magma and see what happens? Now is possible. Now man has the knowledge and the capability of Now, man is in a position to be able to understand the process of the transportation and transmutation through magnetic fields and not by burning the fuel, but by rays of the sun that they might collect some. And if you can be clever enough to understand more, you can even swim within the heart of the man. If you can create this gravitational magnetic field, and the doctors of the future will do this, they'll be present when they are repairing a valve of the heart. It's not the dimension, it's the light which drives and reaches and transfers the information and the knowledge. You're not going to be a useless yellow submarine but you're going to be with the system which submerges to every point of the universe, even in the center of the suns, in the center of the universe, in the center of Unicos. Now, for the first time, we see a new opportunity and a new system to be able to break through in the dimension of the travel in the universal strength. in a process that 
we create, we are part of, and we use what we created to achieve what we want to a point of destination, time and place at the speed which we choose beyond the imagination of today's man. Now, we come into a new dimension and direction of transportation. How do we protect ourselves in these environments with the speeds beyond the imagination of the man? Today, when you travel at a thousand kilometers and you come to a halt, the whole body goes through emotion. You go through all sorts of physical what are called changes. We go, as we say, through different G's. Do we have a G transformation in the speed of light? Or do we create a condition of transformation of the fields of the universe that within it, we structure ourselves, that our system, our body, has a dimension of life at any strength of the magnetic field. Does not matter if you come to it or you go away from it. Would we come to the point of going so fast with the different dimensions that we feel the weightlessness that we float like a balloon? Does such a thing exist in the dimension of the speed of light? We can create it, but we don't need to live within it. For man to tune into the magnetic fields of the universe with the physical body has a limitation of physicality, which is lower dimension magnetic field, the strength of the same structure. This is why we advise a man who wants to travel at a speed of a thousand to convert, instead of wearing a flight suit, to wear the soul suit. Where the soul becomes the frog of the physicality that it can protect the physicality within it, which allows it to travel at any speeds, because the soul of the man has the dimension of the totality in a loose direction. And he can link to anything at any point as he needs to go to or to come from. The use of the soul of the man, this is what we've been trying to teach you, is not just to cover your body, it's another tool of transportation of the universe. You use through the soul the speed of the light. You use through the physicality of the man the speed of a donkey. You want to live on earth and travel with a donkey, you're quite welcome. You want to travel the span of universe to the moon, unfortunately, there is no oxygen, no donkey can go. Now you have to find a new donkey, new way of method of transportation, and that is the speed of light. This is the speed that we can travel in any corner of the planet, universe and universe. Now you understand why we start teaching about this. Because you had to know about the soul, you had to get confidence in what it is, that you can get in it, you can use it, but unfortunately, you're already imprisoned it. And you travel, after thousands and millions of years, you're trying to get into the car which you locked yourself with, with your own hand, with your own condition and behavior. And if you can get into this car, you don't need the dimension of physicality. You need the dimension of the speed of the plasma, understanding the totality of the existence, and voila, you move from a donkey of the man to the donkey of the light. And the progressive development of the man's knowledge will allow him to go faster and faster by the speed of light.
At the moment, we measure the advancement of the man, what is achieved in science. In the world of the creation, in the transportation, the knowledge of the creatures of the universe are measured on how faster they can travel with the speed of light. Because as you go from one to ten, needs a different knowledge. And when you go to a hundred and a thousand, needs a different knowledge. More understanding, more devotion, more detachment that you have no carry, you can create the higher strength that you can reach the point. It will not be the strength of how many palaces and how many gold rose roses you part outside that shows the wealth of you. The knowledge of how fast that you can travel shows the strength of understanding the process of the creation. It's not by throwing the weights out of the basket as you were ballooning to go higher and faster. It's to understand the process of the creation of the fields that allows you to be able to achieve ultimately the speed of the light of the Creator. The knowledge of totality, because as it comes, it encompasses all of it. How long would it take man to go from L1 to L1000 and LC? It depends on the devotion of the man to the knowledge of the creation and what will come out of it as he releases more. Knowledge of the universe depends on the understanding of the process of interaction of the fields. Knowledge of the man on this planet, narrow-minded, to a surgeon of the heart, or engineer of the oil, or a specialist in donkey shoes. When you become the traveler of the universe, the knowledge of the universe is open to man. But man has to understand which part of it he understands that he can be part of. One of the processes that we say do good, think good and act good, is that what you collect in the center as the essence of the soul, that it become that jumping place, then in the future to allow you to understand to what level of what else. Because the more you have, the more you can concentrate within the center. This is why we call planets like Earth the nurseries of the creation. Understanding the limitation of the physicality into the dimension of work of the universe. You load your donkey on this life. That when it comes to travel, depends how much food you have in the sack to feed your donkey with. Mankind becomes so kind to himself that he'll find a kind of man that is kind to himself. That he can create that condition for the life of the man in the universe. What you load upon the saddle of the soul of the man on earth, becomes the feed of you in the dimension of understanding the future. In the fields of what you will create, and where and how far can you go to create. New dimensions and directions, new strengths in creating the positions and new life. Now, you manage <coughs> to get to understand the speed of light. You manage to get on the donkey of light to travel the span of the universe. How do you keep the integrity of the soul of the man? In his travel from one position to another. How do you manage to keep the integrity of the physicality of the man in this travel? How do you keep the understanding of the totality of the motion. Here, we come to another point of understanding. Here, we come to another dimension and direction. The way we explained how you can travel from one point to another, now comes the play in reverse. 
you were going from here to here in the strength of one, but you created the strength of hundred for the point of destination. But how do you keep the integrity of the plans of the life of the man in that journey? It has to be bigger, it has to be different. Otherwise, would not be able to keep his field strength. Then,